I'm just really keen for some sports anime right now. I think Blue Lock has been great, and it's been a lot of, uh, you know, uh, matches lately. I mean, I think most of the series is going to be matches, um, considering they're in a facility that's just like, we're just going to have you play soccer all the time. Um, I think it's a sports anime that purely facilitates there being sports all the time, you know? Um, and uh, also, I actually only recently found out that this show was a two-core anime, which is exciting, because I thought, I was thinking to myself, like, okay, we're about, you know, halfway through the season now, so, you know, there's, it, we're gonna have to, like, sadly end it after, like, maybe after this round-robin tournament, or, like, a little bit after that, you know, um, but no, we got plenty of time, we got all the time in the world, this is episode eight we're doing now, if there's 24 episodes, then we have 16 episodes left. That's so much time! Oh my god! Okay, so, we're gonna jump into this episode of Blue Lock, episode 8. Uh, please make sure to support the video and go to my Patreon account if you're not already on it to uh, get full-length, early access, exclusive videos. Um, I'm recording this video super ahead of time on YouTube because I can't use my YouTube channel right now. Um, but all these videos were all really early on Patreon, so you can go check all of the full lengths out right now. Anyway, let's get into this episode of Blue Lock. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. How the hell do you win against these guys? Oh my god. The other teams were weaker and we struggled. Oh man, this is going to be tough as hell. Alan Iverson. あってる。あってる。こいつは俺の宝物だからな。俺の人生はこの世の全てはお前のためにある。オッケー、リッチキッド。望むものは何でも手に入った。いや。プリビレッジ。あ、イツサウンドライクイズサポーティブだね。レオ
ゴールの再現性だ。<笑>その一撃だけで終わってしまう選手は世界で多い。Okay. I see what you're saying. ましてや裏切りのやらせゴールなんて再現性ゼロのゴール。<笑>ディフェンスは何枚いたどこでパスを受けた、oh. その時何を感じていた、like、break it down to m a t h で熟知して再現性を。お前らはまだ偶然の中で生きているそれしかダメなんだ己の描いた方程式を証明するものそれがゴールを爆発的に量産する It's kind of a cool way to think about it 勝つべくして勝ち取れ<笑> Win the game because you're meant to We're not getting the game today なんだ、ののし何しに来た Jeez! One on one! He's got a Katsumi and I. Uh huh. Ashmoto to Paul and his church is there. The Boker of Koitsuka Skaket as Shunka. I don't think he's done a chance. Oh. The mother Nukaritanai. Oh my god! What a shot! Damn it! Koi, you're for a mother, mother. I don't know you got the Kuchik. The Mokiri Dog. Oh? Fito! Oh, got himself into a better position and top right again. That's insane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just has like an instinct to shoot the exact same way. Then is there a formula for stopping him? You just have to like reverse engineer their formula for scoring, maybe? Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> uh huh. Oh, he's got hot zones, baby. Yeah. これの目だからわかる。ただそのエリアに踏み込ませなきゃ。見誤るのは下手。おお。ダム。ありがとう、バロ。教えてくれて。He <laughs> I love the analysis he does. He's like Deku. Oh, this is such a good build up. Oh my god. 25 minutes. <laughs> Kuon's on hold up there. Oh my gosh, this is such a good build up. Next week's gonna be awesome. <laughs> oh my god, next week we're just gonna be playing. All right now? Are they just gonna show us one goal of theirs? Over to Nagi. Nice. Okay, alright, they're doing something. They're doing something. Stretch. Oh. Oh. That was close. Oh. Were they just like testing out their strategy? Oh, they look shocked. Oh, okay, alright, yeah. So they were doing it lazily before. He's always gonna be doing it lazily. No, he's gonna jump and header it in, isn't he? Oh no! With his leg, okay. What? He brought the momentum to a stop? Jeez! 
なんでこんなの外すかな It's cute, Rayo takes care of him. That's adorable. Okay, I mean, that is some of the. That's a great build up. You know what's crazy to me? Is. uh, So, I'm pretty sure Nagi is the highest ranked out of the three of those main ones, right? He is ranked 221 in Blue Lock. This man, this, you know, boy, um, they have shown him to be terrifying and incredible and, like, one of the best players we've seen, you know.、Um, and he is ranked 221. There are 220 players that currently are a higher ranking than him. Doesn't mean they're necessarily better players than him, I guess. Um, but who, like, originally were decided by Ego were more valuable. Now, of course, I think his ranking would be、uh, this low because of his, like, lack of dedication to the sport. That he, like, maybe he deserves to be up in the top 100, but because he doesn't really care about the sport that much, he was dropped super low. Because I think it's, I think, I think Ego even said at the start, like, I've ranked you guys based on my own biased and subjective opinion. Like, you know, like, I, I've, I've decided these ranks based on what I think, but the whole point of Blue Lock is whoever's at the top, no matter what, is gonna climb to number one. So. Um, so it doesn't really matter what their starting rankings are because a true striker, the one that he wants, would be number one no matter what. You know, they would overcome any trials and tribulations. So,、um, so I'm not taking it as like a firm, like, every, like, there are 220 people definitely better than him. But I just think it's so interesting that he's so low comparatively, you know,、um, that all of these people are so low. But I mean, if our team does end up beating them, then they probably were ranked. In the, appropriately, you know?、Um, but wow, what a great setup. I, I, I really liked this episode because it was a good, it was a really good build up that was continuously entertaining. And I loved watching the backstory for,、uh, for Nagi and Rayo because it's, I think it's really interesting. Rayo is a privileged, you know, rich kid or whatever. But it was actually like, I, I thought when they started that, that it was gonna be kind of a, a bit of like a villainous. Um, backstory where he's like, I, you know, I didn't. I, I'm, I'm probably gonna say what happened, but think of the way I'm framing it. The backstory would have been I'm rich, I get anything I wanted, but I want something that no one else has. So I see there being the top soccer player. I want that. I don't want anyone else to have it. I want it for myself. So that's kind of what the backstory is. But there's a little bit more into it that actually makes it less villainous. And that's, I want it because I, because I'm not getting satisfaction out of the things that I am getting. I want something that feels like it's, it's indicative of me. It's my personality, it's mine. It's something that I get for myself.、Um, and on top of that, him seeing uh, uh, Nagi and meeting him. He's doing this as well because it's like his, like, because Nagi is that one thing for him. So it's not even just like about him getting to the top. He wants to bring Nagi to the top and he wants to work for that. And he is working for that, as we even saw in that additional time at the end. Like, Nagi's constantly like,、uh, I don't want to do this and、uh, I guess I can. Go and、uh, I, I don't want to go to practice. Practice is boring and I don't want to choose my shoes and I'm tired. Like he's constantly doing that. And then Rayo's like, don't worry, I'll give you a massage. I'll choose your shoes for you. I'll take you to and from practice. You know, I'll make sure you're, you're happy at all times. I'll feed you. I'll do anything, you know? Like, and I think that's a really like sweet relationship. It's a nice、um, friendship that we see. But it also makes a lot of sense. Like, Rayo. Uh, wants this really badly and he's gonna work for it. Nagi doesn't want to work, so Rayo does all the work for him and just lets Nagi do the main the main things that he's good at. It's it's really cool. And then we have Zantetsu, who's just like the sort of the kind of the brains of of the operation a little bit.、Um, <coughs> he seems like he's got an interesting personality as well, but they didn't go super in depth on him right now. They might in the future. I also really liked the idea of this like goal formula、um, thing where it's like, okay, you got a miraculous goal, real great, you know, but anyone can get miracles. What you need is, is a formula to reproduce goals. 
I need to make sure that like when you get to a certain point, you you don't fail, you know? Um, and it makes it makes a lot of sense to me. Um, like, okay, so if we if we're if I'm gonna look at a sport that I know more than most other sports, which is basketball, I watch NBA, right? Um, so in the NBA, I'm a Golden State Warriors fan. Um, and in the Golden State Warriors, we have uh, two main shooters on our team. They're called the Splash Brothers, Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson. Um, the thing about these two is they're known as like two of the best shooters in the league. Um, Stephen Curry is known as probably the greatest shooter of all time, arguably. Um, and they are, I mean, they're in incredible shooters, right? Um, now here's the thing. Klay Thompson has the most points in a quarter uh, in NBA history. He got 37 points in one quarter, which is insane. Like 37 points in a game would be a great game. Like you would just, you would be like, oh wow, he had a great game. He got 37 points. Clay Thompson got it in a quarter. Okay. So, um, and in that quarter, he didn't miss. He was constantly shooting. Most of it was from distance, you know, most of it was from behind the three point line. He was incredible. That was one of the most incredible performances I've ever seen. One of the ma most amazing displays of shooting I've ever seen in my life. Probably the most amazing. I watched it live. I remember I was like so excited. But Stephen Curry is still the one that's considered the greatest shooter of all time. Even though Klay Thompson had that 37 points in a quarter. Curry has never done that. The reason is... Curry is consistent he is consistent while clay is streaky so in ego's world in ego's mind stephen curry would be the player that he would want and clay thompson would be some miracle boy that he doesn't care about he would be like clay thompson you 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 did a you did a, a good play but it has no value for you as a player right um, while Stephen Curry, he reproduces his shots. He is able to consistently get these crazy, like he, he can basically shoot from half court pretty consistently, right? So that's why Stephen Curry is, uh, is the player that Ego would want in the system. And I think that's a pretty good analogy for what's going on here. And it makes me completely understand what Ego is saying when he says like, yeah, you need a formula for goals. Like, it it makes perfect sense to me. And I think it's really, really interesting. I love the way this show has been approached. I love the way all these characters interact with each other. I love the, like, situations they're setting up. This is a great sports anime. And it feels unlike any that I've ever seen before. So, I so I mean, I can see why this series was so popular. And, and is so popular. Um, and I'm, I feel good that I'm seeing a lot about Blue Lock as I, like, look in the anime community as well, because that means it has a good chance of this getting a lot of seasons, which I really would like to see a lot of Blue Lock. So, thank you for watching my Blue Lock reaction. Please make sure to support the video, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Go to my Patreon account for full length, early access, exclusive videos. Go over there, check it out, support me, uh, follow me on Twitter. I have a TikTok as well, all that sort of stuff. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.